Well, lucky me. I am on call, and it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm arriving at the service call. Hmm, wonder what I'm going to find. Alright, so it turns out to be this one. This one is a little different than the one we usually work on. But this is it. I guess uh, it's this one also. I guess all this is one. I guess we'll find out. Looks like two though. I think it's two. But we don't have another tag over here, so maybe it's one. We're gonna check the computer. This is the Microtherm computer. There's a guy in there, so I can't really talk. He's sitting right there next to me. But you can tell that, let's see, hold on. So that's the most recent. And this goes back a couple days. So you can see a few days ago it was working okay. And then now, uh, today, well, right now it's actually 53.8 because nothing's working on it. All right, so with these units, the way they operate, they're different. So you've got a different section for the bottom and a different circuit for the top. See up here, you've got liquid-line solenoid valves, and those aren't just regular solenoid valves. Those are like variable speed kinds of things. But you've got one on each of these sections. There's four sections there. and Sometimes one of them will go out, but right now, all of them are out. Now over here, we've got these switches that they're like all screwed up. Look at that. Then you get another one over here. It's like all screwed up too. I'm not too sure what that bottom one does. Well, that's a controller or a thermometer. Doesn't work. There ain't no other switches here in the unit, so. Uh, I'm kind of just guessing here, but I need to see what's behind there and see what, what, what goes to these switches. Well, bingo. That's where everything's at. And then going to this switch, though. Whatever it was, is looks to have been bypassed. Yeah, bypassed. I guess. I, mean, I don't know. But it looks like this thing... So, don't let it overwhelm you. It's just a simple circuit. Looks like we got an old ass uh, thermostat here. I'm gonna check for voltage across the terminals there. All right, no voltage there. There's like no voltage there. Like for real, so. We should have power coming into this. And we don't. We got power in there somewhere though. Which makes sense because the lights are on in there. I don't know. So we should have power here and we don't. So I need to follow. So I gotta take all those off too. Okay, so just bear with me here. I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can. So this is a big freaking mess. Uh, we've got no power coming into these defrost time clocks. Power wire feeds it, goes all the way over there, and it piggybacks and connects to this defrost time clock right here. See? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see? Okay, so this is my hot wire. Okay, so we've received power to both of these time clocks from this black wire, which then goes over here, connects to this one, which is going to this big freaking mess right here. And then this mess of wires goes down that little hole, down to the bottom and to the back. Not the back, I meant the front. Like this is the back, I think. So in the front, we've got that mess of wires coming in right here. I determined that those black wires that feed the time clocks come to this wire nut, which goes to that blue wire. That blue wire goes to this conduit. Over to this box over here. And it's right here. Okay. That connected to this. This goes 
Back to that one back there. And over there, snakes around. Uh, right here. And goes underground. You see? Uh, so this is power coming in right here. What a mess, huh? And so, I've got no liquid line, solenoid operation, or fan motor operation. You see? No fans. So, we've got no power coming in. They need an electrician before I can do anything else. Most likely, they give me power to this unit, and, and it'll start working again, unless there's a problem within the unit, but I can't do nothing with it until I get power. So now, I just gonna put it all back together, and I already wrote my invoice, put it all back together, and then go home and get some sleep, because it is 3.22 a.m.